it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time joining us, I'd warmly want to welcome you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and of course tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we actually do post a video. So as for the title in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually DIY this headpiece, this ponytail, voluminous, very, very full and very easy. And of course, doesn't need to break your bank. It's a very, very affordable. So if you can to learn how to do this, please stay tuned and let's jump straight into the tutorial. I'll see you guys on the flip side. I can't believe I actually lost footage on how I created this headpiece. Yeah, it was a step-by-step -step full tutorial detail, but nonetheless, we move. So it did have a drawstring to it just to help you secure the headpiece on your head, of course, making sure that it don't go nowhere. And I actually used three whole bundles for this headpiece. Okay, so now let's actually do install this um, hair piece. So I'm starting off with clean washed hair. I actually washed it the day before yesterday. Still pretty much clean if you ask me. So what we're going to do is just comb this through and place it where we actually want our our headpiece so i want a high headpiece so it's gonna slightly fall to the front a bit because i want a high headpiece so let's say pretty much about here Okay, that pretty much looks like a top part. Now, what I'm going to do is just spray my hair with a bit of water. There's water in here. I'm using my spray bottle. And I'm just making the hair wet all around. This is just so to help it lay a bit more flat. You want to get a brush with smaller bristles like this and just brush all that coming to where the actual bun is. So brush it all around like so. Okay. Kind of laying flattish and then i'm gonna be using my isoplast gel we're almost running out but i've had this for a while now and i really you know put gel in my hair so yeah and then you just want to spray all that around So be generous with the gel, like be very, very generous and just spray it all out. You can let this dry by actually tying any silk on it or just blow drying it. But I don't want this to be permanent. I'm just doing it for now. Probably remove it tomorrow. I'm just using it for me now since 
I'm going to do one or two things. Uh, so yeah, I don't mind it just being so. But if you want a longer hold, definitely tie a silk scarf and blow dry it. So now that that is out of the way, you can go in again with your brush with smaller bristles and just make sure the edges are laid. I like to slant it down a bit like so. I don't know if you get what I mean, like I don't want it to go all straight. So I'm kind of like slanting it down a bit and I'll do the same I'll do the same for this side And you can just kind of wrap your actual hair like so. That should be it. And we're gonna get uh, our hair piece now, the one that we made. So remember it has this drawstring, right? So you're gonna definitely make use of this drawstring. And this is what it's looking like. So you kind of braid a bit and then it will kind of make this pouch here. And let me just stretch it out a bit. Then you're going to put that on your hair. Grab your drawstring. And just... So make sure you actually pull your drawstring very tight. There is my drawstring. Hopefully you guys are catching this and are getting this, yeah? And then once you do that, mm, okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's quite a very heavy headpiece. Not heavy in the sense of wet, but it's thick, the volume, yeah? That's what I mean, it's kind of heavy because of the volume. And uh, it's not that heavy, I say. So, now you're going to get... A tiny piece of the hair from here maybe like this thick so get a tiny piece of hair like this thick and then what you want to do is just wrap around the edges just for more security to make sure that this headpiece ain't going nowhere and also just to cover up any openings because remember we were not fitting everything in there so I'm drawing it like so And if you want it a, a little bit lighter, you can actually use less of the hair. I used um, three bundles of the hair. And yeah, just to make it hold a bit, like to make my hair hold a bit, my edges especially, I'm just gonna go in 
with my got to be spray on my edges and we are going in with our tooth brush is actually new and I decided to use it for my edges for this particular tutorial okay so let me just finish up my whole face and of course you're gonna brush it how you want it just slightly but otherwise we pretty much done and i'll be right back this is what the final look is looking like it's definitely giving what it's supposed to be giving it's a very full and not so heavy on the head but definitely very full very affordable on a budget still looks so classic yeah so this is it for me guys if you enjoyed uh, this video or learned a thing or two please don't forget to hit uh, that thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not already until the next one guys it's a goodbye for me